see it's important to not only me, to, to the whole lot of the people in the neighborhood. Because we live on it, we depend on it. I make a living by fishing. I provide my family for fishing. And right now, it's very slow. Business is very slow. When I was young, as a teenager or early 20s, all the reefs around here used to be very lively. All different species of fish. The reef, they look different. The corals, they look dead and, you know, lots of moss in them, whereas before, they always would be teeming with life. As, as the year go on, we realize that they, 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 the reefs are dying. We couldn't understand it. Uh, for me, I couldn't understand it, but as looking, looking at TV and looking at different documentaries and things, I get to realize maybe it's global warming, as they say. Uh, all the different boats and things coming, anchoring on the reef, flushing all this stuff out. The people of the Grenadines are a seafaring people. They take a lot of pride in the, the marine environment in particular. My dad's a, a fisherman and I've always spent most of my life on the ocean and um, I actually wanted to be a fisherman myself and my mom told me basically, we're, my, your dad's a fisherman and every year the, the amount of fish and the size of fish he's catching is getting smaller and smaller and less and less. So why don't you go into a field that would help to replenish some of those fishes and why don't you think about marine biology instead and, and I just use that as the stepping stone. Climate change has a huge impact on environmental work around the world. In, in my field in particular, there are several different components of it that has uh, huge impacts on reef. Sea level rise being one of the ones that is talked about a lot. Ocean acidification. Another one is increased sea surface temperature. Another thing that we have to um, deal with on a daily basis is human impact. We're looking at coral reefs here in the Caribbean. They're very much important for stopping the energy of the, of the sea. So we're looking at how to work with fishermen to reduce pressure on them, how to reduce the pollution coming off the land. We work with them to set up marine protected areas, marine management areas, and to help them look at what do they want to use their marine space for and how to plan for that in the future. The, that area is supposed to replenish the areas that are actually being fished at the moment. So our work is to ensure that that replenishment zone is intact. And so I'm, I'm very optimistic and hopeful for the um, future of the marine park and our natural resources around here. You know, working with people also and seeing what are some of the solutions they have, and they do have a lot of solutions. And, and how themselves see that the resources have been depleting over the, over the years and they would like for it to be better managed or protected. Life, life has to go on and we know life with the sea. And if it's devastated, it will devastate it for everybody. I cannot imagine life in Grenada without the sea.